Hey guys, Cassie Deputy here with Deputy Tribe. Today, I look like a crazy person, but hey, I just had a baby, so lay off. Um, we're going to be talking about castor oil induction, and um, we'll just go through the video, and I kind of charted the progress, and then I'll give you an update at the end on how it went. Can I, do you guys have chocolate Frosties? Yes, we do. I'll take a, let's do a small chocolate Frosty and a medium fry. Small chocolate Frosty and a medium fry. Would you like to donate a bottle of adoption with a pop-up for five free junior Frosties? No, thanks. All right, please go ahead and I'll go ahead and Okay, guys. <laughs> Cassie Deputy here with Deputy Tribe. And today we're going to have a very controversial post because um, that's what we do here at Deputy Tribe. So we are going to be taking castor oil to get this baby out. Um, so just a quick recap of what's going on. I am 39 pregnant, 39, 39 weeks pregnant tomorrow. Um, all of my babies have been um, big and healthy and um, all born before 39 weeks, all of them. So um, today is Thursday, September 9th, I think. I'm due the 18th. Is that right? I don't know. Literally, my brain's not working. Since last Sunday, so not a few days ago, but the Sunday before that, I have been contracting every 10 minutes of every day, all night long, everything. Um, the following week, we did a check and a membrane sweep, and I lost my mucus plug. And the last three days, I've had a little bit of a bloody show and contracting every five minutes. Yesterday, I contracted every two minutes for about eight hours and it was through my back in my pelvis um, finally got to sleep I mean I was just exhausted I sweat in my sleep I was so tired woke up this morning and my back and pelvis hurt so bad <laughs> from all the contractions and then today I've been contracting every five minutes again today um, so I discussed things with my midwife and we are gonna try some castor oil. So what I'm going to do is take three tablespoons and I have a Wendy's chocolate um, flurry, whatever this thing is called, to kind of wash it down. Someone took all my kids last night, so I slept in. I got a bunch of projects done trying to distract myself. Finally, I'm like, you know what? I have tried everything. I've tried nipple stimulation, I mean, teas, baths, walking, membrane strip. I mean, we've tried everything and for some reason I'm just not kicking over. Um, so I'm pretty exhausted emotionally and physically and ready to have this baby. So we're gonna try this out. Um, I'm gonna take it just on a spoon and chase it down with this smoothie because I don't want to lose any of the castor oil in the drink. So here we go. It's pretty thick and nasty. So here goes one. Mm. Okay, it's not coming through the straw. Not coming through the straw. All right, not bad. I mean, it's pretty thick, but it has no no taste. Tablespoon two. Okay, that one was pretty gross. Mm-hmm, pretty gross. My lips are all oily. <laughs> it's good for your skin, so. 
All right, one more. Bottoms up. And that one I could taste, that was gross. Okay, so typically, this should take uh, 46 hours before you start feeling it kick in. It's roughly two o'clock right now. So by six to 8 p.m. tonight, we should start feeling things moving. Now, I've used castor oil in the past, and um, typically when I've been dilated to like a three or four and contracting for days and days and days on end and taking two tablespoons and going to bed and I would wake up in full blown labor and I'd have really short, manageable, wonderful labors. Um, the only one that really was not fun was Willow's, which was my last birth. And there was a lot of things with her birth that was not it was not really fun. Um, and the castor oil didn't really work with her. Um, but I had labor where I was progressing and dilating. I think I got to a three or four and then labor stopped. And so I think I had taken one, maybe two tablespoons of castor oil to get it going again. And it did. But her labor was not fun. All my other labors have been quick, fast, easy. No issues we've ever faced with them, so I'm really praying this works because I really don't know how much longer I can go on tomorrow. Now, that's what I was going to talk to you about. My babies, uh, my cycles run a bit different than other people's cycles, I think is how my midwife explained it. So I actually ovulate and conceive either during my cycle, my period or right after. So because of that, the, the timing of my pregnancies is typically off. Um, I'm usually, I usually get a positive pregnancy test at like three weeks pregnant, and then I deliver typically 37th and 38th week, which for most people would be 39th and 40th week. Um, and my babies have been big. My 38 week old was 9'6". My 39 week old was 8'2". Eight, eight, and all my other babies have been roughly seven-ish pounds, except for my twins, which were preemies. They were still five, five, and six, two. So my babies do really well. None of them have ever had lung issues. They're huge babies. Uh, my pregnancies are just really rough at the end. I don't know what it is, but I have ridiculous predominant labor. I know with this baby, and this happened to me with Arye, my fifth born, she was resting on my hip bone. So every contraction, I could feel her head or her shoulder or something pushing into my hip bone. So I think that's why labor wasn't progressing, as she was just pushing, pushing, pushing. So I went to the chiropractor, and he worked that ligament and the opposite side of my lower back. And literally, I stood up from his table and felt her on my cervix, which was just nice. So I think that's why I had contractions every two minutes yesterday. I think my body was like, okay, she's there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's not working. <laughs> and I don't know why it's not working, but yeah. So maybe I just need, I know, I think castor oil has a hormone in it. It starts with a P, pro something. And it's the hormone that your body typically releases when you go into labor. Um, so a lot of people think it's just the digestive contractions that kickstart your labor. And it's actually a combination of the hormone in castor oil um, along with those stomach contractions. So if your body's already kind of producing that hormone, then I think that's when castor oil is successful. And if your body is not already producing that hormone, um, it just gives you diarrhea, which I never have gotten diarrhea from it. But um, I guess we'll see how this goes. I did want to share with you my sister. She's so wonderful. She, um, I'm going to enjoy this ice cream. She uh, got me this gift. She got me some tea, elder, lemon balm, immune and stress. She got me the Sitz 
spray, which I have never had. I have always been curious as to how this spray works, but I have never, never had that before. So I'm excited to try that. She got me a coconut water, which I already drink, trying to hydrate before I take the castor oil, because one of the controversies around castor oil is it can dehydrate you, but if you hydrate yourself very well beforehand, um, you shouldn't have an issue with that. She got me this kombucha. She got me a lot of stuff. <laughs> she got me some herbal sits bath teas, which I'm really excited about. And then she got me some baby oil, some chamomile baby oil, which ironically has castor oil in it. <laughs> so that's really nice. And then she got me some organic nipple butter from Earth Mama. And this I have used before. This our birth center used to give us in our birth kits, Mariah and I. And we, I love it. It's really, really good, really good stuff. Um, so, whew, yeah, these contractions just kick my butt all day long, ma'am. All right, well, I'll check in with you in a few hours, and we will see if this just causes me a bunch of diarrhea and misery, or if I have a baby tonight. So, I will keep you posted. Hey guys, Cassie Deputy here. So, it is 9 o'clock at night. Um, I took three tablespoons of castor oil around, what time was it? Two. Been getting some good contractions. Um, they're pretty painful, but not very painful. So, at around 8 o'clock, I took two more tablespoons. Haven't had any diarrhea, haven't had any upset stomach, haven't had any side effects besides my contractions are a little bit stronger, which is expected. Um, so we'll see, that would be a total of five tablespoons. So we'll see what happens, if it helps or not. I'm pretty pessimistic because I've been in labor for so long and they get really strong and really close together for hours and hours and hours, and then they just fizzle down to nothing. So we'll see. Well, it's about, what time is it? Twelve forty-five. And I think around like, I don't know, twelve fifteen. I got my first real strong one in my back. And they've been about every three minutes since then. How do I adjust the brightness? Alex is blowing up the pool. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Um, so what ended up happening is I was definitely in labor. I had my first contraction at 12.15, um, like real hard one. And then things progressed very quickly. By about two o'clock, I was um, hitting transition, ready to jump in the pool and push baby out. And then I pushed her out at 4.30. And never had diarrhea, never had any sort of adverse reactions. Um, I would say I actually was grateful because after I delivered her, I had gotten pretty bad hemorrhoids and my stools for the next two days were pretty soft and easy to pass, so. So yeah, so go ahead and check out the description below and watch my video on how the birth went, our home birth, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.